Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to your new favorite place on the internet. My name is Bella and I love tracking every single thing that I do. I love making a bunch of to-do lists every single day of my life. I love tracking every single book, anime, k-drama, movie that I watch. I have so many different trackers and sometimes it's a little bit hard to stay on top of all of them. So for today's video, I thought that we would go through every single one of my trackers and I would also update you guys on all of the series, like all of the book series that I'm currently in the middle of. Back in 2022, I was in the middle of 90 different book series. And I just had a really fun time talking about all of them and just going through each one. If you haven't seen that video, I basically made this Notion page where I organize every single book series that I'm currently reading. I place them in order of priority. So I have very high, high, medium, low, and then DNF. So yeah, I think it's time to update you guys on all of the book series that I'm currently reading. And also this is like the perfect time for me to update it as well because I haven't been staying on top of it as much as I should. So what better way to just like, you know, do this together? I feel like that's gonna be really fun and I feel like a lot of you would be interested in seeing the ways that I organize these things. I know that I would love to see someone do this. So I thought, hey, why not just show you guys? Here we go. This is my Notion page for my current book series. As you can see, I only have 14 book series in my very high priority list. Um, we have Crowns of Nyaxia, Spy Family, which I'm still on volume 10 because volume 11, I don't know if it's out yet, um, but I definitely don't own it. So I haven't been able to read it, but it's still very high priority because Spy Family is such an incredible manga series. If you haven't read it, I would highly recommend. We also have Iron Widow, The Radiant Emperor. See, for example, I recently finished The Radiant Emperor, which is a duology and I read it like two weeks ago. So instead of very high, this needs to go to the finished category. I can't believe I finished that series. I loved it so much. Okay, The Stolen Air Duology, A Court of Thorns and Roses, Crescent City, Villains, Heartstopper. I still don't have the latest volume and it's breaking my heart because I love Heartstopper so much but I promise that I will get to it soon. I don't know how soon is soon, but I will. It will happen for sure. We also have Jujutsu Kaisen and honestly, like I, I'm kind of debating whether I should move Jujutsu Kaisen to the high interest level because I just, you know, like I still love these characters. I would still die for Gojo and Itadori and Megumi, but um, I don't know, there's just something about how the author is writing the most recent manga volumes that I'm just not really a fan of and you know my obsession for Jujutsu Kaisen has definitely just kind of like lowered by a bunch. I do have other manga series and other stories in general that I'm really just more excited about so it's definitely not very high priority for me anymore. Um, yeah I think I'm gonna change it to high because like yeah yeah it's going on high, I'm sorry. <laughs> we also have Love Light Farms, One Piece. Oh my goodness, have I told you guys that I'm reading One Piece? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't really talk about it that much, but yeah, I started my One Piece journey less than a year ago and I, oh my God, wait, <gasps> I haven't told you guys. I, well, I, I was gonna say I reached Wano, but I actually finished Wano, like on the anime. I am currently on episode, oh my god, what is it, 1087? I want to say 1085? Yeah, I think I'm on episode 1085, which is insane. This time last year, I still had no idea what One Piece was going to do with my life. I didn't even plan on reading One Piece. I think that that's when my friend Mary started being like, hey, you should read One Piece. And I was like, I will never read One Piece in my entire life. It's too long. I'm probably not gonna like it. It's probably gonna be like a mid anime story. And she was like, okay. So yeah, uh, I'm reading One Piece, <laughs> the omnibus versions, and I'm actually not on volume 27 anymore. This morning I finished reading volume 29. So there we go, 29 out of 34. It's obviously still not over, like it's still ongoing. So there will be more omnibus volumes. It's just that 34 is like the most recent published omnibus edition, but there will be more. Do I have the space for them? Absolutely not. But am I having the time of my life? Absolutely yes. And that's all that matters really. So apart from One Piece, we also have Chainsaw Man. 
which again, another series that I adore. Still on volume 12 though, because I haven't gotten around to buying more of the volumes, but as soon as, soon as they're out, best believe and as soon as i'm you know no longer in a book buying ban i will be getting more volumes of chainsaw man the last series on my very high priority list is yona of the dawn um currently because it's still ongoing as well it has 42 volumes and the last volume that i read was volume 36. i will be very very honest with you guys i don't think that yona of the dawn is a very high priority for me anymore because it's just like it's taking too long to get to the point you know what i mean like the story just keeps kind of repeating itself and i feel at times like we're progressing but then the same thing happens just like in a different type of way i do love these characters but it just like it's getting a little bit repetitive and i don't like mangas that feel repetitive so i think once again i'm going to be changing this one to high like i'm definitely not giving up on this series but it's not on the same priority level as heartstopper or chainsaw man there we go oh i need to change this to finished wait so who did i put in my finished <laughs> Did I put something that didn't belong here? No, I think we're good. Yeah, no, this is incorrect actually. Thank goodness I noticed. Moving on to my high priority, we have Golden Kamui, which is a new manga series that I recently read. There's 31 volumes and I've only read the first two. I'm really interested in this series. I don't see myself buying the physical copies, but now that I've gotten used to reading manga online, I think I'm just going to continue reading this one like from the library or something because it is a really interesting story i just don't see myself buying 28 volumes or like 27 no wait 29 volumes yes math then we have the vampire chronicles by anne rice and unfortunately like this used to be high for sure but i think i'm going to dnf it yeah like ever since last year when i was trying to force myself to read the vampire lestat because if i didn't read it last year i was going to have to dnf it the more time that passed the more that i realized that i just really wasn't that interested in the story like yes the vampires are cool and i understand why you know it's such a staple in the vampire community vampire book community so like i understand why it's so iconic i just have so many other series that i'm way more interested in so i think i'm going to you know i'm going to be dnfing the vampire chronicles then we have laura olympus the empyrean i think all of these like i'm still up to date with i did include once again grandmaster of demonic cultivation i don't know if you saw the vlog or the video where I talked about giving it a second chance and when I read it, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than the first time that I tried it I'm actually really interested in continuing that series I think it has a total of five volumes and I'm only on the first one but I really, really, really want to continue this series I do want to read them physically though because I don't know, I just want to and I just feel like I appreciate the illustrations and everything about the reading experience so much more um, but I am once again in a book buying ban so I need to wait until I finish so that I can treat myself to some Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation and another Don May novel that I have is Thousand Autumns Kyang Ki? Kyang? Yes, Thousand Autumns I'm still in the first volume but there's a total of four books so I have my work cut out for me and I'm very excited we also have Orochi, Tea Dragon, Knock Em Out which I think is like a romance book and I read the first one and I really enjoyed it I do have the second one but I haven't gotten around to reading it I just don't think I've been in the mood for it but I, I'm like slowly realizing or coming to terms with the fact that I need romance in my life like I just need a bunch of romance books so I think that I'm going to be reading that book very very soon we also have the Celestial Kingdom duology. I think this is the Daughter of the Moon Goddess book. I I don't know if this is a high priority anymore. Like, I really don't. Like, I think it's going to medium. Because, like, I would be okay if I never found out how the rest of the story goes. And honestly, if I'm being 100% sincere, I don't remember what happens in the first book. I really don't. And that's okay. I've come to terms with the fact that I don't have a very good memory. 
Like I need to accept that in order to love myself. So we also have Letters of Enchantment, which is Divine Rivals. I do have the sequel like ready to go on my Kindle. I just need to sit down and read it. And then on the medium category, we have 13 book series. Komi Can't Communicate, Ao How to Ride. Kaiju number eight is a recent edition because I read it, I think in February and I really enjoyed it. It was really funny. And apparently it's being turned into an anime, which is even more exciting because I really enjoyed how this manga mixes in comedy with action. Like it doesn't take itself too seriously. And I love when mangas or just like books in general do that. I think there's a total, at least so far, of 11 volumes and I've only read the first one. And then we have Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. I see, I... <laughs> I need to come to terms with the fact that I'm never going to be reading this series. I have been saying that I'm going to read the sequel for years now. Like I loved the first book Nevermore. I read it literally in one sitting and I even made my sister read it because it was just so good and we both loved it. And even my sister was like, why haven't you read the sequel? Like this is so good. And it ends in kind of like a cliffhanger. The more time that passes, I just kind of start to lose interest and if i'm not constantly thinking of this book i just kind of forget about the experience and i'm just like yeah it was fun but i don't need it like i don't i don't need to keep reading the series to have a good life this used to be in the high interest level category and then i moved it down to the medium but i think it's time to accept that i'm just not going to be reading this series i'm also not like the biggest fan of middle grade series so yeah, like there are just more book series that I can focus on. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to be DNFing it. Even though I've heard it's like brilliant and fantastic, good for you, like I love that for you, but that's not gonna be the case for me. So anyways, we also have Tokyo Aliens. I read it alongside Kaiju number eight. This has a total of six volumes and I've only read the first one. Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Kingdom of the Wicked, Dreamland Billionaires, The Atlas, celestial am i gonna read the atlas like really am i because i read the first one i still have it it was actually my very first buddy read with my patreon so like it has a lot of sentimental value but the story itself do i care enough to read two more books about it absolutely not so okay i'm not going to completely give up on it because maybe one day i'll be in the mood for like that type of dark academia book so i'm gonna put it in the low category i'm not dnfing it but just for now, I don't think I'm going to be picking it up anytime soon. And then we have Alex Stern playing for Keeps, Shatter Me. You know what? I'm also going to be very brutally honest. I'm not going to read any more Shatter Me books by Tahara Mafi because yeah, reading the most recent books that she added to that series, it was so painful and I didn't even have a good time and it kind of felt like she ruined the initial trilogy for me. So like, why would I put myself through that again? So I'm DNFing it, you know, I'm putting myself first. I'm putting my safety and my comfort and my mental health first and I'm DNFing it. Okay, now in the low category, we have Hades and Persephone. This is A Touch of Darkness, which I also read in February and it was like, okay, you know what I mean? Like it's one of those books that you pick up when you don't really know what else to read, but you're like in a mood for a trashy, smutty book and it delivered, okay? Like for what it is, it delivered but i'm not really interested in seeing where they're going to end up in so like yeah king of scars by lee bardugo again this is a duology and it's been on my tbr for years and i have zero interest on this so we're dnfing it i'm sorry like i'm being so cutthroat you know what i mean like i'm not even giving these book series a chance i'm just killing them off no questions asked no second chances just bye bye because i feel like some of these series have been here for so long and i keep saying that yes yeah, someday i'll give them a try um but i think enough is enough you know what i mean like i'm starting different series my book tastes are changing it's time to face the music is that what you say why do you say that it's time to face the music it's time to face the music. I honestly don't know what that means. Like I know how to use the phrase, but I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just being brutally honest and I'm DNFing series that I'm no longer interested in. This is a new era for me, okay? I love DNFing books now. Before I used to be very apprehensive about it, but now I'm just like, I don't like you, goodbye. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul, another DNF. I'm so sorry, but like I'm never, I'm never going to be reading Tokyo Ghoul. I read the first seven volumes and I watched the anime, I watched the two seasons or is it three seasons? The point is I finished the anime and it was so bad. The first season was amazing, 
but then they went ahead and ruined it so like why would i put myself through that in the manga version i just don't i don't think it's necessary i have so many other better mangas that i want to spend time with so tokyo ghoul yeah i don't know like it's time to say goodbye for sure for sure girls of paper and fire um i'm in the second book and there's a total of three books i i don't even remember when i read the sequel i don't even remember what it's called is it Girls of Storm and Shadow. Um, I enjoyed the books when I first read them, for sure. Like, I had so much fun with them, but I don't even remember the name of the main character. I don't even remember what the point of the book is. I have, like, this vague memory of her infiltrating the, the palace as, like, a lady in waiting. This could totally be a lie. Like, I have very vague memories of my reading experience with these books. And I really don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, I really don't care. So I think I'm also going to be DNFing it. Yeah, as you can see, I've DNFed 70 books, 70 book series. There's a bunch of book series that you start and then you realize that you're not really a fan of or too much time has passed and you're like, nah, I don't want to spend more time. Like, I don't want to dedicate more time that I could be spending with other books on books that I'm not really that into. So yeah, I've DNFed 70 book series. I'm, I'm not ashamed. I'm putting myself first and that's that's beautiful. Let's go through all of the series that I have finished because we do have some incredible ones. We have Heaven Official's Blessing, 10 out of 10 experience. The Last Hours by Cassandra Clare, The Radiant Emperor, The Yang Chen Novels, Attack on Titan, oh, I miss you king. Check please, Six Crimson Cranes, My Love Mix Up. That was such a sweet, such a sweet manga. The Twisted series by Anna Huang, Watakoi, oh my god, I, I miss Watakoi so much. The Scum Villains Self-Saving System. There are a total of four books, but the fourth one is like a collection of short stories. And after the ending of the third one, I don't care for whatever happens afterwards. So in my mind, it is finished because you don't have to read the fourth one to conclude the story if you know what I mean. So there we go, that's my book series tracker. I'm currently in the middle of 35 different book series and I love that number. <laughs> like that is such a satisfying number to be on. And compared to how many book series I was in the middle of back in 2022, I feel like I'm doing a lot better. So I'm very proud of this. Like I thought it was gonna be a higher number, but 35, I'm like okay with because that's like manageable and most of these series they're still ongoing so that i literally cannot finish them now that i've shown you guys all of the book series that i'm currently in the middle of i do have to do some actually oh my god <laughs> i'm not in the middle of 35 book series because i have to add um what is this yes percy jack not jackson Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I don't know if you've heard, but Rick Riordan is adding a couple more books to the original series of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So there were five books originally, and I think now he's adding two more books to the series, which means that I am once again reading Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I'm currently reading the latest novel, which is Chalice of the Gods. And I think that the next novel is coming out in September this year, which is very exciting, but yeah. So that means 36. Am I in the middle of an, oh my God, wait, I'm also reading Berserk. I can't believe I forgot about all of this. Kentaro, I'm so thankful that I remembered because, oh my goodness, I actually don't know how many volumes Berserk has. How many volumes Berserk? 41 volumes, all right. I think it's still ongoing. Is that what I heard? <laughs> so I've read the first three, which come in the exclusive edition, like the black edition. So I have a long way to go, but it's definitely very high priority because I really enjoyed the first three volumes that I read. It's, it was like gory and it was intense and violent, but I had a very great, I, I just had a lot of fun reading it. So, why a fantasy is it fancy no well they are still in school so why a fantasy there we go oh you know another series that i'm reading that i read back in january it's called seven fates not this seven fates choco 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 Cool. It's written by Hybe and apparently there's going to be three volumes and I've read the first one. I don't even know if the second one's out yet, but 
there we go. It's fantasy and it's a graphic novel. Fantastic, now we finished. Okay, so <laughs> 37 is not as satisfying as 35, but I can live with that because I do love me some odd numbers and they're both odd and they're both prime so that kind of makes me feel better now that i've updated my current book series i thought that we could update my other reading trackers because i have read two books this morning and i'm in the middle of two others so i just want to make sure that all of my reading trackers are up to date so the first tracker is actually the spreadsheet that i showed you guys on my previous video which was a productive vlog if you guys haven't seen it yet i will leave it up here so that you can enjoy it and actually in that video a bunch of people were asking me where i got this spreadsheet because they also wanted it and it was actually made by a fellow simper from my discord what can i say my fellow simpers are just a bunch of intensely and insanely creative people and i love them very very much so I will be leaving the link for this spreadsheet in the description below so you guys can copy it as well. Yeah, there's just so much that you can do with it. But what we need to do right now is update that I finished reading One Piece Omnibus Volume 28 and 29. I already added like the information when I first started reading them just so that when I finished reading them, I just had to add the date of when I finished them and I, it wouldn't take me too long to update these things. So I'm just adding my ratings, you know, just making sure everything is good to go, I guess. And yeah, so I also have the two books that I'm currently reading here, but obviously those are going to take me longer. Um, so I did leave a space in between just in case. But as you can see, also down here, we have a couple of other tabs. We have this 24 books to read in 2024. I'm currently reading Chalice of the Gods, and I've already read He Who Drowned the World, Heaven Official's Blessing, The Heart's Invisible Furies, The Body Keeps the Score, Demons by Dostoevsky. I'm also currently reading East of Eden. So yeah, I still have a lot of books that I need to read for this challenge, but we're doing good, okay? We're, we're going. There's also this other challenge, which is to read 12 books recommended by 12 different friends. And in this one, I've read two, and I'm currently reading one. So it's a slow progress, but it's going and I'm excited for it. And I also have, or this spreadsheet also has another tab for anticipated releases of the year. I organize them by order of publication. And I don't really, like, I don't really keep up with all of the books that are coming out in the year. I just kind of find out about them through TikTok or Instagram or just my friends telling me like, hey, this book came out. So this is really useful just to keep track of the books that I'm genuinely excited for and I can remember the dates of when they come so that I can get them. <laughs> so yeah, I've updated the tracker. Let's move on to my Goodreads because as you can see, my currently reading, it's empty and that's a lie. So let's, not the caps, let's just update the fact that I'm reading. I'm actually reading, can you believe that? Not my internet letting me down. I can't believe this, not in front of my salad. Okay, just move it to currently reading. This wasn't, it was gifted actually. And then I'm also reading East of Eden and I need to look for the edition. This is the edition, thank you so much. Currently reading, it's a classic, it was gifted. There we go. I just love updating things and just keeping things organized it's just it makes my brain feel so nice <laughs> oh yeah the one piece omnibus 20 not this omnibus 28 i did give it 4.5 but unfortunately goodreads does not have what's like half ratings so i need to do this it doesn't mean anything at the end of the day but it's important for me to know that this wasn't a solid five out of five stars it was a 4.5 like let it be known let the record show it wasn't perfect but it was very very close to it and then volume 29 i did read this it was gifted it's manga and i read it in one sitting there we go i started today actually thank you so much and then <laughs> i just realized i'm also in the middle of volume 30 which is crazy on with this volume 30 oh my god so i'm in the middle of three different books oh my goodness am i yes i am so not the little battery baby girl. Oh my God, I need to go. <laughs> the last tracker that we have to update is my notion. Yes, this is basically where my entire life lives. Here's where I do all of my to-do lists, 
also where I keep track of my animes, where I journal every day, my K-dramas. So let's go to my library. Okay, actually, something very annoying is happening. I don't know if this is happening to you guys, so let me know if you, like if this is happening to you, how did you fix it? Because I've been trying everything. And for some reason, I don't know if Notion updated or something, but there are a couple of my gifts that just resized. And when I tried to put them back to how they originally were, it just doesn't let me. And it's like this glitch, I don't know how to fix it. So if you know how, please help me out because it just, it messes my entire layout. It doesn't look cute anymore. But yeah, books read in 2024. I've read 37 books so far, go me. Currently reading East of Eden and that should be reflected on my currently reading tab. I am in the middle of another book, which is One Piece Omnibus Version Volume 30. Um, I started it today, but then I read volume 29 this morning, so I need to add that, not the motorcycle. Loco Chilea. Oh, I actually didn't buy it, it was a gift. There we go. And then I also read volume 28, started the 19th, finished it the 20th, 4.5, I don't own it. I read it online. <laughs> yeah, I think those are all of the trackers that I had to go through. Oh, do you guys want to update my animes with me? Because I did watch a couple of anime episodes this morning. Look, my anime page used to look so pretty with all of the gifts, but now they're like weirdly distorted. There's like this blank space between them that wasn't there before. I don't know how to fix this. I really don't. I need help. But anyways, let's go see the animes that I'm currently in the middle of. Because I'm currently in the middle of, I mean, apart from One Piece, I'm currently in the middle of three different animes. The first one being Frieren, Beyond Journey's End, Mr. Villain's Day Off, and The Apothecary Diaries. I do want to start a sign of affection because so many people have been recommending it to me and they're saying that it's literally the perfect anime for me. But I want to try and finish at least two of the animes that I'm currently in the middle of before I start another one. Because I'm one of those people that if they have too many things on either they're currently reading or currently watching list I go a little bit insane so I kind of like I need to prioritize finishing animes before I can start another one but I'm really close to finishing Frieren I'm just waiting for the final episode to drop this morning I made it to episode 27 and then episode 28 I think comes out tomorrow so like perfect timing and then Mr. Villain's Day Off I think I made it to episode 10 and then the last few episodes still haven't dropped. So I literally cannot finish it, but I'm so close to finishing it. And I love it because I'm loving these two animes. They're very different from one another, but it, they're just a really fun time. The Apothecary Diaries, I started it randomly one day and then I never continued. Not because I didn't like it, but I think because I had so many other things on my plate, I it wasn't really a priority, but I did enjoy the first episode. I just need to continue. Now that we've updated everything that we had to update, not, oh my God, you guys can see the puzzle that I'm in the middle of. I hate it. I'm like really ashamed because I started it weeks ago, but it's literally impossible. It's this puzzle, all right. This is the puzzle that I'm in the middle of. And it's supposed to be like, you know, different screenshots of the anime of One Piece. And when you put it all together, it's gonna make Luffy's face. There's literally like no easy way of doing this because there's so few colors and most of it is, girl, like I don't even know. <laughs> like it's just really, really hard. And I've spent hours just going through each single piece and I've barely like made two or three connections. Like I do have the square, like I have the, the frame, I guess, but Filling in the spots, it's just bringing me a lot of pain and anxiety. So I'm taking a break from that puzzle. Hopefully one day before I die, I will complete it. But um, so far, I'm not having any luck. Yeah. Anyway, now that we've updated everything that we had to update, and now that I've talked to you guys about the 37 book series that I'm currently in the middle of, I think it's time to bring this video to an end. Aww. I know, I know. I hate to be apart from you guys, but good things have to come to an end too, but it's okay. I will be back next week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and maybe even leave a comment. It really helps my channel out, and it helps me know that you guys enjoy these types of videos and you would love to see more of them. I also have a Patreon where I post exclusive content. I host readathons, reading sprints, and a monthly book club. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, the link is down below. As always, I would love to have you join my army of premium simpers. We are basically the found family trope, so I would love to have you join my crew. 
Um, oh my god, my crew! That's what I should call it. Watch me revamp my Patreon to be One Piece themed now. Like, I, I can totally see myself doing that. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, if you're still here, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, you really deserve it. For staying until the end, you deserve a cupcake and a cookie and your favorite ice cream delivered right to your bedroom door. Um, so I hope you get everything that you wish for this week and I hope you're having a fantastic March. And if you aren't, hopefully the rest of March will be a little bit kinder to you because you deserve it. Thank you so much for watching and I will definitely be seeing you next week. Bye! Hey Jimmy, you nice, keep going.